Hey what's going on guys, it's Dosta TV here bringing you back another Fortnite tips and tricks video. In this video today guys, I'm going to be explaining why I've switched over to the new performance mode on Fortnite after the recent update and what benefits this can have to your input delay and FPS. I will show you what the best settings are with this performance mode to get maximum FPS and lowest input delay, whilst also giving you competitive advantages in game over people using normal DX11 or DX12 settings. I will also discuss why I've switched over to the new performance mode setting. If you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more Season 5 Fortnite tips and tricks. Without further ado, let's get into the video. As you would probably know, lots of pros have been switching over to performance mode after the recent patch. As someone who wants to have the greatest advantage over players, I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. So firstly, I will show you the in-game settings I have on when running Fortnite and DX11 with no performance mode enabled. I have all my settings on low to try and get maximum FPS. We want to be able to see our latency in-game, so make sure you have the latency markers ticked on on your video settings. You also want to go over to the Game UI tab and make sure you have latency D bug stats switch on as well. As you can see standing still at Stolty Towers on DX11 of all my settings on low I get an average max FPS of 264 with 12.5 milliseconds of input delay. My ping average is also around 8. Now when switching over to performance mode these are the sort of benefits you are going to get. As you can see my FPS has increased to an average of 337 frames per second compared to 264 FPS which is roughly a 28% increase in FPS which is massive with my input delay also being a new average of 8 milliseconds compared to on the DX11 an average delay of 12.5 milliseconds this is an increase of roughly 43% which is a really drastic difference and you will definitely feel this in game you will find you will be taking walls a lot more first try your edits will be a lot cleaner and faster without you screwing up the timing a lot less and overall your building will be a lot faster and this is all due to the new performance mode setting. The performance mode also had another unexpected benefit. It also lowered my ping from an average of 8 to 5 which is a 35% increase which is another massive benefit which can really give you an advantage when fighting people in tournaments or in arena. For reference my PC has a Nvidia 2070 Super with an AMD Ryzen 3600 so a good PC but not the best. Past negative of performance mode. Basically, the biggest problem with performance mode is the graphics aren't the best and the building pieces are an eyesore. This can be a problem if you want your game to look nice and you upload Fortnite content. However, if you can get past this and get used to your game not looking the best, you can really excel in game with this new setting. The initial release of performance mode saw issues with items not loading in very far at all, making it almost impossible to see what sort of gun you're landing on or picking up until you are next to the item. This really ruined some pro players drops as they couldn't land on the best weapon off spawn due to performance mode not allowing them to see the items until it was too late. Since the new performance mode update, Epic Games has now fixed this bug. So now you can see your guns and items from further away while gliding in or collecting loot. So there is now no disadvantage of being unable to see items from afar. Another problem pro players ran into were when players were disappearing when 50 50ing in boxes or when players were very close to a build piece part of their skin would go invisible. With a recent update this is now not an issue and you are able to 50-50 without any issues positives of performance mode. The major benefit of performance mode is the greater FPS, lower input delay and even lower ping. All these benefits are across all Fortnite game modes, whether it be creative, arena, pubs or tournament games with stacked M games. I noticed in my arena games all these benefits listed really helped me to build and edit a lot faster and more cleanly in game. It also allowed for me to take more people's walls and will definitely help people with lower end PCs and higher ping. With the performance mode setting, it also increases my visibility in the storm, allowing me to see my opponents more clearly in the storm and also seeing their items more clearly. This will give me a massive advantage over my opponent if they are not running performance mode. Fights in the storm used to be incredibly difficult to fight. Due to the new Fortnite season, Epic Games made the storm really thick and a stronger purple colour. When running this performance mode, the storm is almost non-existent, really allowing for clear visibility during storm 
storm fights. With performance mode, you can also see through the builds such as wood and brick for a lot longer. This gives you an advantage of being able to see your opponent for longer when your build is building. If they aren't running performance mode, you have this massive advantage over them. This also allows for you to gain more information on what your opponent is doing and can lead to you killing them. The final positive of performance mode is it allows for you to see the building grid more easily and see building place halfway through the floor. This gives you better information on where you can and cannot build and also allows for you to not accidentally build a mat in the wrong place. Overall, should you use a new performance mode in Fortnite? The easy answer is yes. Performance mode gives you so many benefits with the major one being lower input delay, better FPS and lower ping, whilst also making you perform better at the game and giving you advantages over players not using it. With all the major negatives being fixed on the latest patch, there is no reason not to use performance mode. If you guys did learn something new and did enjoy the video, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting Fortnite tips and tricks videos on a weekly basis, so if you want to get better at the game, you should think about subscribing. That's all from Dossa, and I hope you have a good one.